The spear is not very good. You know this, I know this, but despite this inarguable fact, I just keep bringing this thing with me. Now, why could this be? Is it the extreme ranges at which you can take out entire enemy installations? Could it be the effortless nature of having the spear do all the aiming for you? Or is it the enormous tumour growing on the left side of my brain? Whatever it may be, the spear has a special place in my loadout whenever I drop myself in against the bots. I just really fucking hate those laser cannons, man. In order to use the spear, you must remember at all times that this weapon is not very good. You must forgive your spear when it doesn't perform a simple task such as failing to lock on at medium to long range in plain sight. Sometimes it's your greatest ally clearing entire enemy suburbs, and other times it's like three, maybe four grains of sand behind the eye. Other guides might tell you that you need higher ground, or to be further away in order to get the computer, CPU, motherboard, 128GB USB D flash hard drive power supply computer to lock on. And they're probably right. But do you know what doesn't need to do all that silly business? Literally any other anti-tank weapon. When you use the spear, you must allow yourself a few minutes to line up and range a shot in order to account for the worst case scenario. The yellow ring of expansion. Whenever you see this yellow ring, it means your spear is feeling a little bit eepy and must be allowed some time to rest. But when you use a recoilless rifle, a well-rested spear might bless you with some instantaneous locks, but it also might not. The spear is just kind of like that. Now you can of course use it against bugs too. Landing a headshot will often one-shot even a bile titan. The catch being that you can't aim for the head unless the heavens decide to smile upon you and the bug rotates in the proper direction. So basically, what I'm saying is don't use the spear against bugs unless you want me to rock up at your home address. To close things off, I'd like to present two ideas I have that would make the big man's spear a bit more enjoyable to use. Not necessarily better, but more interesting at least. In my opinion, a lock-on weapon is pointless in a game where it is so hard to miss your target with regular anti-tank options. The projectiles move so fast, why would you need a weapon to aim for you? So now hear me out. What if we reduce the projectile speed of some of the anti-tank weapons? It would still remain quite simple to hit most enemies, but things such as gunships and dropships that are approaching would be a bit out of reach. This would give the spear a far greater use case than just being the really, really long range building demolisher, which is kind of a lame niche. In addition, allow it to actually one shot a dropship without needing to hit the motor, as the same with Bile Titans, you can't aim where the rocket goes. Alternatively, still nerfing the speed of other weapons, but making the spear's rocket track the user's cursor after a certain range. This would still give it great utility as a long range anti-building slash tank weapon, but make it a bit more interactive and less frustrating to wield. But knowing complex mechanics in Helldivers, it would probably follow the cursor for a bit before making a detour, blowing up your dad somehow on installing your PS5. Not to mention, this idea does involve actually reducing the power of some of the strongest stratagems. And we all know how gamers can get about. Nerfs. Alright, that's it. Goodbye.